In China, there is a village where women have small feet. So small, an iPhone is bigger than them. So small, even kids have bigger feet. What is this village and why is this happening? And there's only 10 left in the world. Wow, really only 10? They are no longer around. When I was in China, I heard about a village with small feet. I couldn't believe it. So I took the first flight out to go see it for myself. Let's go! I left the rich part of China and landed here in a farming village where mostly poor people live. Many of them have never seen a foreigner before. We were the only tourists in town. What's up? Yeah. 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 Video. Yo, Yoku. Yoku. Video. Video. Move. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we walked around the village looking for women with small feet and unfortunately we couldn't find any. We knocked on doors and people didn't want to talk to us and other people told us the women have died. What happened? They are no longer around. We almost gave up and headed home until we saw a small room with a grandma and her son inside. Her name was Fuji Pang. She was 95 years old, but her feet looked like they belonged to a five-year-old. Turns out she is the one we came to look for. She's one of 10 people in the entire village still alive with this kind of feet. In ancient China, if you wanted to be a beautiful woman, you had to get small feet. So mothers would crush the feet of their daughters intentionally for years so that they stop growing, so they remain small. In ancient China, this was considered beautiful. It's a status symbol. Feet three inch small and you become the golden lotus. 60 years she has been. She erected for 60 years? 60 years, yeah. She did for 60 years? Yeah. So why, why is her, are her feet supposed to be small? <laughs> ah, yeah. Then, then plus she start to wrap her feet. So maybe that's why she couldn't achieve the really small. It doesn't make sense to us now, but 40 to 50 percent of all women in China were forced to have small feet for the rest of their lives. I'm surprised this was considered beautiful. I mean, you know, the, bo the top of the foot looks kind of bulbous, you know what I mean? Yeah. Luckily, this tradition ended 90 years ago. Most women with small feet have passed away, and the last small shoe factory closed in 1999. The tradition may have died, but there are many others that continue to exist. To this day, women still have to change their body to look beautiful. In China, they make feet small. In Britain, they make the waist small. And in America, they make the breasts big. So many painful ways for women to look beautiful in our society. It's crazy. I can't believe that just happened. The meeting with Fuji Pang was eye-opening to all of us because the price women paid and continue to pay is high. The price of beauty is painful. The price of beauty is unnecessary. Let us change standards of beauty today so our kids in the future can just be themselves. 
YouTube, if you like this video, then I think you're gonna love NAS Academy. It's a new online school we just started to give you a voice. Yes, making videos has given me a voice. And with this voice, you can reach millions of people on the internet, tell them stories that you care about, and actually change their opinion. This skill of making videos changed my life and I think it can change yours. NAS Academy has a lot of courses that are live. They're not pre-recorded. So there is real people from the NAS daily team that teach you how to make videos like we do. Give you your voice that you so desperately need in today's world. If you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a family person, you need a voice on the internet. And NAS Academy helps you get that voice. Click on the link below if you want to see the courses that we offer. We have very limited spots. So grab yours today. Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video.